what is going on everybody welcome back to coding with t so a lot of you guys were requesting to add shared preferences in our onboarding screens and in this video we are going to do that so we want a splash screen to appear every time but this onboarding activity should appear only first time when we install our app if you haven't watched these videos i will suggest you to watch them as well i will provide the videos link down into the description box now keep in mind that we are using same activity for splash and onboarding screen in this case i will also tell you guys what to do if you are using different activities for splash and onboarding screen so without any further ado let's get started So firstly, I will create an integer variable for splash time and set the time to 5 seconds and then I will create a variable for shared preferences. I have set my splash time to 5 seconds because here I had set splash delay to 4 seconds and it took almost 1 second to animate so that's total 5 seconds and that's why i set splash timeout variable to exactly 5 seconds if you are confused here go and watch my previous videos so create a new handler and add post delayed now i will add the splash time integer here So now create a boolean and set it to true using the shared preferences. Now I will simply add if else statement. If the boolean variable is true then go to onboarding activity using intent. Since we are using splash and onboarding screen in a single activity, so we don't need intent to go to onboarding activity. So we will simply set our boolean variable to false in this if condition. Okay, so we will also add an else statement. Our boolean will be true only for the first time when we will run our app and this if statement will turn it into false. So we can now add an intent from this activity to log an activity. So in the end, I want my app to start from introductory activity. So go to manifest file and cut the intent filter and paste it in between the tags of introductory activity. After that go back to your introductory activity and seems like we are pretty much done. But now this should be 5 second not 5.5 second. And I think that's it. Now run the app. So as you can see our onboarding screen has appeared for the first time. So close the application and we will run it again. So now you can see it has jumped directly from splash screen to the login activity. So yeah that's it. If you like my content then like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel either. I will see you guys in the next video.